These are the personalities. They, we are all um, interacting with them just uh, throughout the days that they've been here, and they're going to make wonderful pets for people. The Humane Society said the dogs will be ready for adoption Saturday. And the first Artemis mission is an unmanned test flight, but it still has a commander named Munikin Campos. He's a high-tech test dummy, and it, it's going to be at the helm of the Orion spacecraft around the moon. He will wear a special survival suit real astronauts will wear when NASA eventually puts those people on Artemis. And Campos' suit has sensors to measure the type of deep space radiation that exists beyond the moon. Two additional mannequins will join him on the journey, Elga and Zohar. NASA hopes that it sends Artemis 1 back into space, or into space, as you say, for the first time, Saturday, after it had to cancel Monday's launch. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Robert Gotro III. Here we are on the cusp of Labor Day weekend. A lot of people will have a lot of plans and a lot of time off. Mm -hmm. um, Temperature-wise, uh, going to be a warm one. Might, uh, might see some precipitation is too, huh? Yeah, it's been pretty nice here the last couple days. It's been dry, and it'll likely be dry tomorrow, too. But it is Labor Day weekend, thus... We're going to see the chance for a few showers, of course, right? Well, Labor Day doesn't look so bad, but it does look a little wet Saturday and Sunday. The weekend in view shows the chance for a few pop-up storms on Saturday and a few storms on Sunday. I would say a little bit better chance of storms as we move into Sunday. Now, again, it doesn't mean it's going to rain all weekend, so you'll still be able to do some stuff here and there. But we do expect a chance for rain to come in the forecast. A little bit wetter than what we've had the last several days. Low temperatures this morning, you could see a lot of places only getting down in the 60s. Unless you are in our eastern counties here. Look at this, 54 in Urbana this morning, 59 in Bell Fountain. It was still a pretty nice, comfortable morning. Still plenty of places likely able to open the window overnight and just, you know, save some money on the air conditioning. But overall, not a bad night. We'll probably be a little bit similar to that tonight, if not just slightly warmer. It was pretty warm throughout the day today. Dayton actually reached 88 degrees. That's above average. We're typically about 83, 84 degrees. You can see it looks like everyone actually got into the 80s. Even Richmond just barely hitting about 81 degrees. Urbana got up to 82. Preble County about 84. Temperatures now... About half of us in the 60s, half of us in the 70s. We're still hanging on to the mid-70s here in Dayton, although it's dry. We're not really looking at any rain across the region. We're really not looking at that much cloud cover. You do see a few clouds kind of moving through. A little bit more cloud cover off toward the west in Indiana, but it should be another nice night. You could probably still sleep with the windows open again tonight. We're not looking at any rain across the region. main reason for that is an area of high pressure, which is... A little bit off toward the east, but it's pretty close to a still, still keeping skies clear. But as it pushes off a little bit farther toward the east, that's going to invite some warm, humid air. And that's what's going to help the temperature increase a little bit this weekend. It's not going to be a huge fluctuation. We'll actually cool down a few degrees into next week, and it'll feel a little bit more like it is right now. Downtown Dayton, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s again, and you can see as we move throughout the next 24 hours, Temperatures will likely stay in the 60s for most of us. A few places might squeak into the upper 50s, but I think more of us are likely going to bottom out into the low 60s again tonight. And then we're back to the mid-80s tomorrow, so not the biggest change over the next 24 hours, but closer towards Saturday and Sunday, that's when we can expect a better chance for rain. Let's take a look at the future cast. As we move into Friday, you do see an increase in some cloud cover, but still dry, still warm, still comfortable, still good for high school football. We've been lucky. The last two weeks have been dry weather, and it looks like we're going to see dry weather moving into tomorrow evening. Now, take a look as we move into Saturday. Here's a look at 10.30 in the morning. Start to see a few pop-up showers, a couple pop-up thunderstorms perhaps into the afternoon, and then Sunday will likely be a little bit better chance for some showers. Now, we'll still see the chance for some storms Monday, but then we dry out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. You notice high temperatures aren't that different, although I will say you can expect a little bit more humidity, especially as we move into Saturday. Low temperatures is only dropping the, low, the upper 60s, but really not that bad of a forecast. It's just a little bit wet Saturday, Sunday, and perhaps leading into Monday. All right. Uh, our seven weeks of summer continues tomorrow. Robert's probably going to need to find some shade. And cool down somewhere. And amen. He's going to be in Miami Township for the party in the park at Austin Landing. He's going to be live during our 90 minutes of news starting tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock. He's going to have a bunch of fun.
Come on, this boys. We're not letting it 